Hey what is going on guys welcome back again today's video is all about notification click events and this will be our chapter 3 guys on notification api in past two videos we have covered almost everything about the notification api that you should know as an android developer so if you are following along from the beginning or if you are familiar with creating and managing notification channels and you know how to send notifications to those channels whether they are plain text based notifications or image text notifications then this tutorial will be easy to understand for you because this is a complete series of videos and in this video we are trying to understand a certain aspect of the notification api anyway guys let's jump into the android studio and see how we can implement notification click events all right as you guys can see our app has shown a notification but now if we click on our notification see nothing is happening so in order to enable click event with our notification we need to set content intent with our notification and whatever data is attached we can retrieve those data in an activity or a service or in a broadcast receiver so first and foremost let's open our notification helper class now here in this send notification method or in this you know, send image notification method just above this builder object let's make some room and now create an intent object first intent intent equal to new intent now pass this context Now pass your desired activity class name in which we will receive our notification data. So in this case, we will use our main activity class, main activity dot class. Also, we will put all our notification data in this intent so that we can later retrieve this data in our activity class whenever a notification is clicked. Anyway, intent dot put extra. I will name it um, notification data. Now pass this title variable. Okay, now we need to create a pending intent object. Basically, pending intent is used to perform an action at a later time, even if our application's process is no longer running. Anyway, pending intent. Pending intent equal to um, pending intent dot get activity just because we want to communicate with an activity class. But if your app needs to communicate with other app components such as services or broadcast receivers, then use corresponding get methods like get service, get broadcast receivers, and so on. Anyway, first we will pass this context then a request code let's say 78 now pass this intent variable now set a flag pending intent dot flag see here we have a few constant fields and these are actually introduced in different android versions these flags influence how the pending intent behaves when it is executed for example, pending intent dot flag update current. It specifies that if our pending intent already exists, then just keep it, but at the same time, update its data with the new provider intent. Although this flag has been deprecated in API level 31. So if you are targeting Android S or API level 31 or above, then you should be using flag immutable or mutable. So in Android, flag mutable is used to indicate that the pending intent should be mutable. This means that the underlying intent can be changed after the pending intent has been created. This flag was introduced in API level 23. Also remember when we use a flag immutable, it ensures that the pending intent and its associated intent cannot be changed after creation, providing a guarantee of stability for the intended action. Anyway, 
let's use flag immutable now with this builder object simply call dot set content intent and pass our pending intent variable that's it finally in our main activity we will retrieve all notification data whatever we are passing through this intent now in our activity class inside on create we can call get intent in order to retrieve data from a click notification get intent dot get string extra because we are passing string type data see and we are retrieving this data let's copy this extra name and now pass here let's also store it in a string variable string let's call it data equal to so this is how we can retrieve data from our notifications also put this line in an if else condition just like this if get intent dot has extra then pass this extra name now move this line and now we can play with this notification data so for now we will set this data in a text view txt hello world dot set text and pass data perfect also remember in order to prevent multiple activity creation we should set launch mode to single top with this activity otherwise whenever we click on a notification its pending intent will always create a new activity even though that activity is on top of the back stack or in foreground state so guys would you like to see the issue closely yes let's see as you can see our app is in foreground now let's open notification tray see here is our notification let's click on it see in our activity we have successfully retrieved the notification title awesome but where is the issue well now if i press the back button have you noticed we had another activity on top of this activity and this is also our main activity so in order to prevent multiple activity creation we should set launch mode to single top to do so just open manifest now here with this activity tag let's call launch mode to single top that's it so it will prevent this activity to create multiple times if this activity is visible on the screen simple let's move on to our main activity again here now we will override on new intent in order to retrieve data or update the ui because according to our activity life cycle this on create method gets called once right anyway let's override the method on new intent hit tab so from now this method will be called only when this activity is in the foreground therefore whenever we click on our notifications we can retrieve data from this intent variable so i'm going to copy this if condition and paste here now replace get intent with this intent perfect now let's build our code again
open notification tray let's click on our notification see the ui has been updated let's press the back button awesome we have fixed the issue multiple activity creation great now let's say we want to remove our notifications from this notification tray as soon as they are clicked so for this here in this notification helper class we can call um, with this builder object dot set auto cancel and pass true and that's it app is running and here is our notification let's click on it see our notification title has been updated on the ui let's also open our notification tray again see now the notification has been removed from the tray finally let's talk about action button notifications with action in android allow users to do things directly from the notification for example you can think of a music player application where we can play and pause our music from the notification anyway here we can call add action now pass an icon r dot drawable dot ic notification then pass a title mm, read for now i'm going to pass this pending intent variable again we can even add two more accents if required typically we can add up to three accent buttons here and in each action we can set different pending intent in order to perform different tasks anyway now i'm going to build and run our code again as you can see here is our read accent button let's click on it see See the UI has also been updated. Let's press the back button. Yes, there is no multiple activities as well. So that's all for today guys. If you found this video helpful then hit the like button and share it with your friends. Also do subscribe for more content. Thanks again for watching guys. I'll catch you in the next one.